Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Squad Builder Showdown, the Champions League Final Special Edition. We are joined by a very special guest for today, the one and only Zwayback. How you doing, mate? The champions! Do, 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 do. I'm doing great. I'm doing really great. I'm looking forward to it. It's 10 a.m. The coffee is flowing through my veins, and I am uh, I'm ready to finally win one of these damn things. Here's a question for you, Zwei. Yeah. On American telly, you have just sung the champion, so you obviously have the same theme tune thing. Do they sometimes cut it down, the champion's thing, and it, like, triggers something in your brain because they've done it wrong? Because they want to, like, cram extra adverts in or because Gary Lineker has chattered on for five <laughs> seconds too long or something. <laughs> so it's so very meant to go, the champions. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it goes, the champions. No, and yeah, they, like, I, we have that too. We have that too, where it goes really quick. It is, it is, yeah. a, it is a little bit, it is a little bit off-putting. Do you know, like the when your alarm goes off, and then when someone else's phone alarm goes off, when you're like out in public, and you hear the iPhone phone alarm, and your heart goes, it's, it do, is. Do you know it, when it goes, the champions, <laughs> and I'm like, just, it's just, there's just something wrong with it. <laughs> That, no, the alarm, the standard iPhone alarm is the, I don't know how I haven't changed yet, but it is the, it is the most fear inducing and like, I don't know, whenever I hear that, I, yeah, I get, I get, I get the chills, but it's uh, horrible, isn't it? maybe we Jones need to, maybe, maybe we need to reset stuff. it. Maybe we need to make it be the champions, the champion sound, but the, the toned down the horrible version. one. Yeah. The short one. <laughs> the champions. Every time you get on a text. Sunday, you can have the champions <laughs> and you can wake up really nicely on a Sunday and it's Monday morning. It's like, the champions. And you're like, oh! <laughs> anyway. Anyway, do you want me to give you a bit of alarm advice, Sway? Hit I me. have said this in a video before. I changed my alarm to something nice and calm, nice and relaxing to bring me out of a peaceful slumber and wake me up into the world and I'm all happy and I'm awake and let's go up and let's go walk the dog and have a coffee and it's all going to be great. Can I wait? Can, can, I, can I guess what it is? Go on. You'll never walk alone? <laughs> I changed it to bird song. Bird song. Yeah, now I have said this in a Scobble the Showdown before, so apologies for repeating the story, but I think Zway needs this advice. This is very crucial advice. If you didn't see that in the last Scobble the Showdown, please listen to my advice. It's very serious, right? I did this. What are we? We're in almost June, probably about nine months ago. Let's say it was about October. Bed song, the winter's coming in, the nights are going dark. I get woken up. It's still dark outside because of the clock's changing and all stuff like that. And you get woken up by some lovely bed song. Oh, this is a, what a nice day this is going to be. May, when the sun comes up, at half five in the morning, and the birds start tweeting, my brain goes, oh, the alarm's going off. No, it's five o'clock in a pissing morning. It's just an actual bird sat on my windowsill. Wait, so is this an actual song that I can look up on YouTube, or is it just, it's just a bunch of... It's, it's like just a random bird song on the iPhone. Okay. That I thought would be a great idea to have as my alarm. <laughs> However, now, at five o'clock in the morning, when the actual birds tweet, I, my brain goes, time to get up. It's not. I've got still like two and a half hours of sleeping left. <laughs> Brilliant! You you five you five G'd it. Don't it's change a... your alarm to bad songs, mate. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, I'll stick to I'll stick to champion. I'll stick to the Champions League, or uh, you'll never walk alone. Those will, those will yeah. be the two that I go with. Or the Divac. Or okay, maybe no. Okay, we'll talk about it later. But I did, something did about you just Champions League. to say League. a player's football name. Are you about to reveal who? I sh we should probably explain that in today's episode of Squabble the Showdown, the Champions League final special, I will be representing Real Madrid and Zwayback will be representing not Real Madrid, also known as Liverpool, for today's special edition. And we're going to choose a player from each team, each to represent our teams as we go forth and watch the Champions League final on Saturday. And if Liverpool. If Liverpool play another cup final and it's nil-nil after extra time, I'm never watching football again. And it, honestly, I feel like Liverpool should just be banned from football if they have another nil-nil after extra time cup final. You think they can pull it off? I mean, like, listen, you don't want to, you don't want to, I mean, you're, you're pulling for Real Madrid. You want, you don't want to see Liverpool lift that trophy. Or do you maybe back the English club because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's Spain versus England or no? No, 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 no. But no. I will say, I was probably rather Liverpool won and a nil-nil and Real Madrid won because yeah. I honestly can't take another two and a half hours of sitting there with nothing happening. <laughs> Liverpool and Chelsea, honestly, just ban them from cup finals. If they get through, just let the other teams through. No, I agree. If they're going to play each other. Yeah. It's unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable. What we should have is like in the UFC where they have like fight of the night bonuses and stuff. So they're incentivized to be entertaining and actually try and not do a Rose Nama Eunice. What was the last like super entertaining Champions League final? Like one that was like, I mean, I feel like they're relatively low scoring, right? But is it because it's the best teams going up against each other? Have we ever had like a crazy, like a, like a five? Yeah, the one where Real Madrid versus Liverpool and Gareth Bale scores an overhead kick, that Ooh. was mental. The guy that somehow Real Madrid supporters like absolutely hate, even though he's like, you know, arguably one of their, you know, 
I don't know, top four, top five players of all... No, I don't know about all time, but, like, the guy's a legend. I know what you're saying, though, like, yeah. in terms of impact. Yeah, 100%. I, I saw, Do you like, want me to reveal to you? What's that? Oh, go on. I was going to... I'm pretty sure I know who you're going to say, because you went to say Divock Origi. You're picking bloody Divock Origi for your Liverpool player, aren't you? Well. I am picking the main man, Divock Origi. He has not somehow gone into an SBC at this stage in the game. He got the plus two upgrade, 89 Divock Origi. He's in my squad. That's my main man right there. Leaving Liverpool a legend. Corner taken quickly. Honestly, Ez as a Harry is sat here, Ez, in this video with the cheesiest grin on his face. <laughs> Just remember, Harry, you didn't win the league. All right. Harry, listen, while you're watching this, make sure you look up Div, and you've probably already seen it, Divock Origi rap on YouTube. I'm sure it's the one with the most views. Div, 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 Enjoy. Divock Enjoy while you're editing this video. Divock Origi rap. Yeah, Divock Origi rap. Div, Div, Divock Origi. Some of the boys in the chat will know what I'm talking about. In comments. Comments, I'm still in stream mode. Harry, enjoy. Divock Origi did a rap. He didn't do a rap, but a kid in the UK, like a 14-year-old kid, did like a super cringe rap with a really cringe beat, but somehow it's magic. Somehow it just, it all works. Okay. <laughs> who's, who's, My who? player, unfortunately, I don't think does have a rap about him. However, he did get Real Madrid to the Champions League final with the most outrageous pass I have ever seen in my life. Team of the season, Luka Modric, sway back. I like that. I like that. Arguably hey. best Croatian player of all time. Absolute crack lad. Couple more peak seasons at Madrid. I, I love that. I, I love myself a Croatian. You love a Croatian? I love a Croatian. Edward Maia by Stereo Love. Do you remember the song from... Uh, 2015, Song of the Summer. Sing it to me, go on. Oh my gosh. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I, I can't, I literally. <laughs> Good song that so, I don't know the lyrics, I just don't. Do, do, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. There we go, nice. If you're, like, if you're in Benidorm or so, I don't know, ben I don't know where you guys go, Ibiza or Benidorm, like, or Greece or something, like, that's a song that you have playing for the vibes, you know, you got the ro the rosé out or whatever. At least that's just my, like, fantasized version of what, like, European vacations <laughs> sound like. But anyway, um, we move. I'm just currently listening to this song. What stereo love or the Divock Origi? Stereo love. I love it. That that's a, I heard that song and like I don't know. I feel like that, that's that's a top five for me. It just has all the vibes. Edward Maya. He, I think he's Croatian. And at the time there were like some sick Croatian players in FIFA, so it just has all the feels for me. Good song. It's good, right? It's Love Islands before Love Islands. Yes. Is what that is. Yep. I like it. Sorry. I like it. What do I want to... I hear you writing something down, and I don't like that. I am writing. I feel like we should actually get into some Squabble the Showdown. There's been some different Squabble the Showdowns recently, and this, I guess, is one of them. This is like a Squabble the Showdown showdown. We've had one where we just blasted through it, and all the top comments about where's the waffle gum, and then there's going to be this one. That's probably going to end up being like an hour long, because it's me and you, and we just can't help ourselves. Yeah. Some people like the waffle. Some people don't like the waffle, you know? We're, we're catering to all the people. It's def this one's definitely going to be for the waffle lovers. What's a waff What's a waffle lover? Is this a Belgian? <laughs> is this a Belgian reference that I'm not getting? Uh. No. So we, in in England, we'll say like someone's waffling on means oh, they're talking a lot. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Now I understand that. Yeah. That's like part of my identity. Waffling on. Hundred percent. Can we have a Can we have a waffle on the thumbnail? It doesn't need to be a big one, but like maybe a little waffle you with just like want a, a secret hidden. Yeah. Waffle just like a little, maybe like, a little red arrow in the thumbnail. Point like a small miniature red arrow pointing at a waffle in the thumbnail. I think would be kind of cool. What if we like changed Modric's flag to a waffle? <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> no. Uh, what about not doing that? Because I think the Croatian lads would go crazy. But what about replacing our heads with waffles? Like in the thumbnail, just. What if the thumbnail was just a waffle? <laughs> Do you, do you on YouTube, right? I have been trying to... We're going off on one again, Zay. I can only apologize oh, to people who just want to see like, Use the timestamps. Yeah. Right, I've been trying to relearn YouTube, right? Because YouTube's changed a lot since I was good at YouTube. Big myself up a little bit. Used to be quite good at YouTube. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Channel still does quite good. It's still my job. But I used to be able to upload anything and get like five, 600k views in like 2016, 2017 when I lived with all the lads. Mm -hmm. And I knew what I was doing. And I knew the tricks of YouTube. And I knew the little hacks and how to make videos do good and things like that. I haven't got a clue anymore, to be honest with you. Just been uploading, scrolling the show down and just doing my thing and chilling and whatever for the past few years. And I feel like... A bit more of a fire in my belly to be like, do you know what? We're going to do this good again and we're going to actually like learn YouTube properly and stuff. So I've been experimenting with different thumbnails and titles and things like that. Sometimes YouTube is proper weird. And honestly, I reckon if I uploaded the video that the thumbnail was just a waffle, it'd probably do really good. Because people would click on it just being like, what on earth is this? Now, let me ask a question. Is this a thing where like culturally the landscape of what people want to watch on YouTube has changed? Or do you think that the like technical, like just the fact that it's a waffle... Or like, um, what, what's the what's the science behind it? But have you seen people upload videos that are like Ronaldo.exe? Yes. 
and it's like ADHD editing, and like, honestly, it gives me a migraine watching it, <laughs> but some people love it. I, like, imagine calling my video. I, I've done it a couple of times, actually, and I think it actually did really good, where they you upload it, and like, when, I obviously, Harry Renders them out now, but when I had to edit my Squabble the Show Dance myself, I mean, uh, six months ago, I had rendered it out as SPSD mod or something like that is what I would call this. Right. Or SPSD UCL MP4. Yeah. And when you put it on YouTube, it auto titles it SPSD UCL MP4. Oh, I see what and you, yeah, yeah. Occasionally I've accidentally like uploaded it as public and it's just gone live straight away without a thumbnail. It's just some random ass picture of my face in the middle of the video. <laughs> like, and it's just called Scrub the Show Dance MP. And it actually does good because people are like, this is weird. What the hell is this? And it's just me not doing YouTube properly and forgetting to put the thumbnail on. But people like intentionally title the video. Like, I've just I've just searched Ronaldo.exe. And the first one that comes up is just called Sue.exe. <laughs> it's got a 1.5 million views. I, I wonder if titles are less of a... I wonder if, um, I wonder if meta tags now are maybe more important than the title. Nah, it's all click through, right? You know? What oh, so Click just through rate and right. percentage watched? Interesting. And that's and that's, that's what is that what's getting like five minutes long and it's so like ADHD is the only way I can think to describe it. It's just like so much like it's like Ronaldo going so and it cuts to Mark Goldbridge and then it's like a meme of I'm watching like the thumbnail video thing. It's like I think it's like Kim Kardashian or something. And it's just like goal goes in and it's some it cuts to a meme and it's like another goal goes in it cuts to a meme and I'm just like oh my god what's going on I'm getting yeah. a migraine but like kids love it. And then they end up watching the whole thing and clicking back to see the memes again and it gets so much watch percentage that YouTube's like, show this to everyone and then everyone's clicking on Sue.exe. I don't understand YouTube anymore, Zoe. Well, it sounds like, that sounds more like TikTok and maybe that, maybe there is something, you know what I mean? Maybe it's like the... I have become a TikToker. Have you really? I saw that you created your TikTok. I did two TikToks and then I just kind of... Did you find that like the first two did like... I don't know, it's weird. Like the first two I uploaded like went nuts and then there's a drop off. Don't want to toot my own horns away, but all my TikToks have done sick, actually. That's great. And you should all go follow me on TikTok because <laughs> Harry's very good at editing and makes very good TikToks to go Let's on my go. TikTok. Well done, Harry. <laughs> Let's go. Harry the goat. <laughs> to be fair, two of the ones that I've done really good were actually just me opening packs, but people like to see packs. And then the other two that I've done really good, he's been making one minute cut down versions of Squabble the Showdown, but he's like making a brand new fresh animation of everything that happens. Wow. So it's like, I've uploaded them to YouTube Shorts as well, so you guys can watch them on YouTube too. This is a waffly video in it, bloody hell. The TikTok's a little bit more... We've been recording for it's an like hour. It's a more natural environment to find that sort of content. People don't go searching for YouTube shorts, right. whereas you, have, you would find that on TikTok. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's like I pop up and my head moves and it's like, we did, we did Squabble Show on our right now. And I've like done a voiceover for it. And it's like, I sweep out the way. It's like Bates and Hads and it goes bang, 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 bang. And all his players like appear in the squad and stuff. Honestly, Harry's head is sick. Go and check it out. Very good TikToks, even though it's me. Up the Harry, dude. Somehow, somehow an Evertonian and a Liverpoolian or whatever you call it have got, you know, you guys are inspiring. You guys are inspiring to the, the human race. We're trying our best. We are trying to retake over YouTube. It's happening. You know what I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna try my best to do. Go on. Win a squad builder showdown. Oh, you're bringing me back in. Thank you, Zway. I, I never thought I'd see the day where Zway back was the one who made me stop it's, talking. It's listen. This is a this is a one off. This is a one off. You know. This is uh. You know. Not sure it'll ever happen again. So this is uh. You know. Definitely a one off event. There's only two ways, ladies and gentlemen, in the world to have your brain melted. The first one is to watch cu.exe or something like that, and the second one is to have an in real life conversation with Zwayback. back. <laughs> <laughs> we could go on. I want to ask about like what videos you've been watching about smarter every day. Like, you know, we there's... can do it after some formations. So, like, yeah. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Let's get the, let's get the formations out of the way. What formations do you want? Poor Harry's going the champions league final and needs to get this video edited before it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so long. I am going to go with the four, four, two flat. Ooh, you may. That you may. It's such an obvious good formation that I feel like it's very... I, I, I would... Okay, see, here's another waffle. I want to know percentage-wise, what's the most popular formation that people select in Squad Builder Showdown? But you know what? Well, Let's not have that conversation. Order. Let's not have that conversation right now okay, because we, we can't waffle. Conversation. Go right. watch... Go to SBS Data on Twitter. Do you follow him? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm listed on anything outside of maybe like... I don't know. Uh, I mean, what, most waffles? Yeah, maybe most waffles. Maybe that's, maybe Ooh, that's the... Uh, that's a good one. Guest with the longest episodes. Yeah. That is an interesting one, actually. I don't know the answer to that one. That could be cool. And then also, I, guess, I don't know if SPSD data could know this, but the most, the longest unedited footage, which would reveal that, you know what I mean? Like longest unedited oh, who takes footage. takes the longest to guesses? Yeah. yeah. We used to have the clock and you could see it took like someone 20 minutes to guess their guesses. You need to get a clock. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let me, let me be the one to bring it back. Let me, so, we've got, I told you. Let me bring it back here. to get your brain melted. Who, what, what formation do you want? I was about to say, who, who formation do you want? Who formation have you chose? Who formation? I... 
select formation of 4312. Well, uh, I correctly guessed that, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, you know, let's what see. What is happening yeah, 4, 3, to 1, 2. Oh Welcome, dude. God. Welcome to your new reality, Andy. This is the new, this is the new world. This is, this is the new, uh, now what's the craziest one that I, because I need, this is a chance for me to get a huge leg up here. I, I mean this in the least patronizer way possible, Zay. Hit me. It's going to, it's, it's going to, it's going to come out and it's going to sound really mean, but I honestly, I'm just curious. Have you won a squabble of showdown? I don't know the answer to that. This is going to change today, innit? Because I'm going to be playing 3 one 4 2, aren't I? You're going to be running with a 3 4 3. 3 4 3? Interesting. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. going to give you the 3 I'm going to give you the 3 4 3. You get the 3 4 3, and. Um, wait, are those center backs or center mid? Okay. And then you're getting Modric. You're going to put him as your LCM or RCM? Hey, I've put him left for now. Left, uh, okay. We'll do a striker left wing, right wing, see where I'm at, and I'll let you know before we guess the midfielders. Okay, cool. And we'll do your. Ooh, two strikers. We'll do your two strikers, right? Two strikers. And I'll, I'll be... My, my, yeah, mine is going to be... Uh, Divock's going to be right striker. You, oh, my God. Yeah, No, you've got Divock. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. Okay. We'll do your strike. I was going to... Oh, my God. I was going to guess things on Modric then. <laughs> if you hadn't have said that, I 100% oh. would have written down, like, oh. Benzema. That would have been great. And, that would have been great. Oh, I'm a moron. Okay, sure. Divock's your right striker. And we'll do your striker left mid, right mid then. <laughs> As if you didn't think it was possible for us to have more to talk about. We have been talking non-stop throughout this whole selection se selection section <laughs> that gets cut out. I feel like this is going to be a three-hour uh, raw footage kind of deal. Maybe I'll upload that for the members just to watch <laughs> the extra stuff as well. You can listen to the chat about Zwei's DNA test is what we've been talking about. So yeah. I'm sure you'll go through it. Zwei's plans to do a video where a DNA test chooses his team. Yep. Video coming soon. Video yeah, coming soon. That. And obviously a squabble of the showdown on yep. Zwei's channel as well. Go and check that out too. I've got so many things to talk about, so to be honest with you. But I feel like at first I should ask you your players. Okay. Uh, well, uh, first off, uh, let's start from the right side going left. Uh, I am going to go with one of the unsung heroes of the Premier League that I don't feel like is getting, uh, didn't get enough conversation in footballing circles, and I can't even find him right now. What is he? What position is he? He is, uh, it is the 89 rated Europa League Jared Bowen card. Uh, Ooh, okay. We're yeah. gonna be, we're gonna show Jared Bowen a little bit of love. Uh, a little bit of Bowen. So he's gonna be the right. Uh, he is going to be the right mid. We are gonna mosey on over to the left striker formation, and I'm going to slot in a Brazilian by the name of Big Bobby Firmino. Big Bobby. Whitest teeth we have ever seen. Is that his legal name? Big Bobby. <laughs> big Bobinho. Yeah, Big Bobinho. That's his. Uh, <laughs> big Bobinho is his legal name, and we are now going for. And apparently, I think I read a stat here. Correct me if I'm wrong, comments, or Andy, if you know any different. But all gold players, there's no player that's over 100K. Mbappe came under 100K, I believe, about Did a week he? ago. Uh, Neymar, uh, I'm going to be slotting Neymar. in as my left. Falter? Yep. That's what he is, mate. <laughs> He's fodder at this stage. Falter, mate. He's freaking fodder at this stage. But uh, those, are my, uh, those are my three players that are going to be surrounding uh, my uh, Divac Origi, the greatest... Some would say the greatest super sub of all time. True, actually. Mm -hmm. I thought you might have chucked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer up front of him mm -hmm. and have like all of a sudden it'd be the seventy-fifth minute and then you just started scoring goals. That that I you know I didn't even think of it. Didn't even think about it. Yeah, fair play, fair play. That Jar Bone card's good. Neymar's fodder. Which Firmino? Uh, the the purple one, uh, whatever. Ooh, promo. very yeah, jazzy. Yeah, the, the saucy like one. He's gonna be the big spend because I don't have unlimited coins, so he's gonna be the big purchase for this team. Nice. Haven't Still tried him, time for that. but he looks cool. So I, what is that? Uh, the purple one is it foot birthday. It is, yeah. Okay. I thought Harry Kane, Kulusevski, who I thought you might have been talking about when you were describing Bowen. Yeah. But he has he's had quite a bit of praise actually. He's done really well. And then Christian Pulisic, the LeBron James of soccer. Ooh, nice selections. And Kulusevski was one guy. It was between Kulusevski and uh, Bowen. So you're on, you're on the right path. Okay. I'm a self-sway. I'm going to go. I really want to do it. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Don't even care. Just going to do it, Sway. I'm going to have Champions League Gareth Bale. Okay. I'm going to have Team of the Season. Wilson. Which puts me in all sorts of bother for my right midfield. But whatever. I'll deal with that when it comes to it. And in left wing, I can just pick anyone from La Liga. So, I'll have Ansu Fati, because I reckon you think I don't have the objective, which is correct, but I'll buy the other one that's still got 99 pace anyway. You literally, oh God. Yeah, I, Ansu Fati was the guy. And my first thought was like, would Andy grind for the Ansu Fati? Would he, would Absolutely he teach not, it? mate, no. <laughs> 
but but you have it. I'll just buy the other one. Oh, okay, okay. So you, yeah, you have the other one. There's another. There's another Ansu Fati. Well, Andy, uh, you know everything that you just said to me sounds like really good and like on paper, you know, it'd be cool if you could have all the. Players. Don't tell me you wrote down Gareth Bale. Yeah, like, like listen to that. You know, da, 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 listen to that. Yo, if, if, no, get that guy out of there, right? Get him out of there because he's the middle guy that I wrote down on my little iPhone because I don't have any markers. I've been literally oh, all morning whenever I do a squad builder showdown, I have to look, I tear my apartment apart to look for a marker, and I just don't have one. Okay, do I don't you have actually, a mark. Guesses in squad builder showdown only legally count if they're written on a whiteboard. <laughs> No, that no. That, show me, show me the fine print. Show me the fine print that says that. Because otherwise, you're gonna have to get rid of that Gareth Bale. And you can, oh, you know what? You God. can put. I don't know, man. What, what do you want? Uh. Well, at this point, I need a La Liga player who's Welsh, which there isn't enough one, is there? Let's be honest with you. So we, in fact, we had this whole discussion. Oh no! For FG, right? FG, when I did squabble the show and against them, he guessed one of my players, and it was an. He guessed my icon. Yeah. Okay. In order to get full chemistry on my team. I needed an icon, and he was going to give me a goalie anyway, and he was, like, fighting with me that he didn't want to give me Van der Sar as my goalie because he was too high-rated, even though it was a goalie playing centre mid. People are talking about it in the comment section whether you should be able to give any player you want. The yeah. reason that you can't is essentially this, right? So I, unfortunately, I'm going to suffer the fact that I am now going to have to get chemistry onto players that are very difficult to get chemistry onto simply because there's nobody to replace my Gareth Bale. Imagine there was a Welsh goalkeeper in... La Liga. There isn't, obviously. There, but imagine yeah. there was. At this point, Zwei would have to give me him because what FG tried to do and what people were saying in the comment section, oh, you should be allowed to give whatever you want. No, because Zwei is now going to give me probably, I don't know, like a La Liga goalie is what I would assume. So let's say he gives me Aitor just because he's the first one. Aitor has got the links for chemistry. And Sufati has much as. Wilson doesn't. And I now have to get a strong link to Wilson at right mid. I'm not sure what full of players there are in this game that are good. But that's the, that is the risk I took when I picked Gareth Bale, and that is my own fault because there isn't a like-for-like -like replacement. The issue is that if there was a like-for-like -like replacement, Zwei can't just go, nah, you can have Aitor instead, because that essentially guarantees that he guesses my right mid as well. Right. Does that kind of make sense? So you have to try to give them the players the chemistry that they needed, the links that they wanted. That's how that's I've always that's how I've always understood it. Like, yeah, you th there needs to be some sort of yeah. So there's a bit of a gentleman's agreement essentially because uh, then you could pick the most pain in the ass players possible to make it so you once you've guessed one of them, the links become so awkward for the other person that you're gonna guess them all, and that's not really very fair. Like you should give them you should guess them because you're clever, not because you forced them into a corner and there's only one player on the game that gets them chemistry. Does that kind of make sense? That makes sense to me. So, so the people in the comment section were saying you should be able to give whoever. No, you have to give the links because you have to guess it out of big brain, not out of you funnel them down some stupid little alley where there's only one player that they can possibly pick. If they do it themselves, which I just have, that's my own stupid fault, but you can't force them to do it. Anyway, yeah. go on. Sorry, that's my rant. I mean, Who can I have, sorry? I, I understand. Yeah, I'm just, listen, I've, I feel like I've already kind of, you know, I've, I've peaked already. You know, first selection, Gareth Bale. So what, 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 do, you, what do you propose? Do you propose uh, Icon? Do you propose... Right, because again, if you choose a, any La Liga player, there's no the Welsh thing really just screws you. So it does um, screw me a lot, but it is also kind of my own fault. So Wales. I can't knock here if you just give me a La Liga goalie. I, would, I wouldn't say there's a La Liga goalie that either strong links to Modric or strong links to Ansu Fati. Now you know what we're gonna do. You know what we're gonna Go do. On. I want you to play with Steven Gerrard's baby I, baby icon card. You want me to put Steven Gerrard? Yeah. I want up you to front. I, yeah, I want you to put baby Steven Gerrard up front. <laughs> okay. I, I, want you to, I want you to have to play with a. I want Is you that to because you just want to endlessly go in this video? Yeah, of yeah, of course. No, I didn't even think about that. But now that you brought it up, that sounds cool. Uh, and definitely, I will be wiggling a couple of those in. But I, more than anything, just I think it's just fitting. You know what I mean? Like if the if the point of like putting a forfeit in is something that you don't want to do, then I think, hey, what, yeah, what better course. player than to use? You know, a guy that probably, I it wouldn't is, say you hate him, you're just probably not that fond of him because he plays for your, you know, opposing, your True. opposing team. Uh, hold on, let me see if there's some, let me see if there's a lower rated, maybe righty? No. Yeah, 86 Gerrard will do the trick for me. Thanks, mate. The 86 Gerrard will do it for me. It's like written in the laws of the universe that Steven Gerrard isn't allowed to win Liverpool or Premier League, isn't it? Yes. 2-0 up in the 85th uh, minute or whatever it was. The Villa Mad. bottle. Oh, there's, that's, that might be the biggest bottle of all time. Do you reckon? Where's the win? Spurs come third at a two-horse race. Maybe Barcelona against... Oh, true. Actually, corner taken quickly. Maybe City and Champions League. And Barcelona League. against PSG as well. There's been, a, there's, some, there's been some significant bottles. That might be a good question for the comments. Like, what the biggest bottle of all time? I mean, Pep just pulled one off. Pep, 
reversed the biggest bottle. Well, well, Pep caused the biggest bottle and then was the recipient True. of the biggest bottle yeah. within a week, which is kind of nuts. He's playing past the bottle. He's past, He's playing past the botella, which I guess is, I think, is bottle in Spanish. Nice. Good anyway, God, what, what we should we? I say? See? <laughs> Did you see the video of the kit man sliding through the uh, dressing room? No. Oh my god. I feel like you just have to see this though. This might be old. I don't know what this is from, but... <laughs> like, I thought it was Pep at first, but it, apparently it's the kit man. But it's just so good. You can't tell because it's such a fast... Uh... It's just a bald bloke yeah. in his undies. Oh Brilliant. I'm enjoying myself, so I, but we have been recording. Yeah. We've been recording for 42 minutes. Okay, yeah, Shall we move we, we on to the it. midfield? Yeah. yeah, we're only here. Okay, yeah, we gotta... We gotta step it up. Okay. How do we... How do we step it up? Okay, so you we'll have... We move on. Roll the transition! <laughs> Right then, Zoe, we were discussing about whether to just do the midfield and then the defence, but that wouldn't be very squabble to show none of us. So, let's make it quick. Who do you want? Uh, I want uh, the... Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, how do we spell his name? I'm going to go with Kakere, which is a French player that has a beastly little 90-rated card. Um, and then as my RCM, I'm going to go with... Good evening, everyone. N'Golo Kante is... Not sure which version I'm going to go with, but let's... Slap in the 92 inform, uh, and those are the two that I'm going to go with. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not guest day. I put Herrera and Rodri. Okay. Herrera and Rodri. I like that. The hero from yesterday. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't manage to wiggle him in. True. Could have gone Gundogan. Yeah. The German Aguero. The German Aguero, mate. You've never Did you, oh my God. Oh. Did you see Salah running off doing the Aguero celebration when he scored to make it 2-1 to Liverpool? But he didn't realize that somehow Man City had scored three goals in yeah. five minutes and he hadn't yeah. just won Liverpool the league. Oh my God. Oh. That's the best part. The best part is hearing the crowd noises like when it's just absolute chaos. Like anything, you know what I mean? It's just nuts. All of the run onto the pitch has got a bit mad though. I got it. Yeah, I got to say it's a little bit strange. Is this a new phenomenon? Where does it come from? I don't really get it. It's like, it's not... New in terms, like, people have done it in the past, haven't they? Because there's that really famous commentary line from England where there's some people on the pitch, they think it's all over, and then we score against Germany, and then, like, it is now. Yeah. So they, that's, like, decades ago. So it, it obviously happens, doesn't it? But it's happened, like, five or six times in the last week. It happened at Everton, yeah. and it ended up with Patrick Vieira kicking a fan. I saw, yeah, I saw, I saw that one. Then City Got a lot of time for Vieira doing that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Not usually one for vigilante justice, but, you know, if you run onto a football pitch that you're not meant to be on and scream in someone's face. Sure. Hey, yeah, I agree. You know what? Give him I a little agree. kick. Um, there was the City one, which Robin Olsen was getting all sorts of abuse, I think it was. Yeah, there was, like, yeah, the there was like, yeah, it was like he was, they were rushing to get him off the pitch and it looked like he got hit like maybe two or three times or something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. There was the one further down the leagues... Is it Billy Shaw? Yeah. Where he got absolutely cleaned up. That was, that is like prison time. That no. was so bad. Yeah. Like the Everton fan running up to Vieira, it's a bit of a knob, let's be honest with you. He got a kick and whatever. He didn't do anything to Vieira, he just shouted at him like in his face like a bit of an idiot. Which is not a very pleasant thing to do, as opposed to the Billy Shaw one. He's like, you should be in jail for a long time. That is horrendous. No, that, that's, yeah, it's assault. Like, it actually could have killed him. Yeah, I mean, that's 100%. That, that, that one was so bad. Yeah. But like, what can, what can like a few stewards getting paid £7 an hour to sort of just stand there at the footy and tell someone off if they stand up for too long? I mean, what are they going to do to stop like 40,000 people running onto the pitch? Like, is there a deterrence thing you could say? Like, I mean, people know that they run the run, they run the risk of like never being allowed in the stadium again if they're like, if they're identified, but are clubs going to go through that? Especially, you know what I mean? If, cause I mean, like, if, let's when say. When just one person does it, obviously they will get that one. You can't ban 20,000 City fans. That's the thing. Yeah. You can, if you ban, if you ban no fans left. Yeah. If you ban 100, hey. right, exactly. If a third of the stadium's on the pitch, then, you know, you, yeah, you, you don't want to... Yeah, you can't fill it. You can't ban your season ticket holders as well. <laughs> so, but I mean, no, it, it is crazy. I honestly don't know what the answer is. It is mad, though. Like, football's got such... I don't know if it's always been like this, and I've always just been, like, too young and naive and whatever to see it because I stopped going to the Everton match when I was, like, 17, 18, and went away to uni, and I'd, obviously, I'd always gone as a kid with my dad. Right. And then lived in York for uni and then lived in London with the lads and stuff and never really been in the game. Football culture seems proper weird now. Like, it's people going and getting, like, smashed off their head on not just going to the pub on, like, all sorts of stuff. It just seems like such a weird way to enjoy football. Like, people going and, like, snorting all sorts and just... Well, I don't really get it, to be honest with you. Like, I understand people wanting to 
be off their heads and do whatever. But like people usually do it at, like raves and stuff, not at the footy. Like right. sure you go to the footy to watch the footy, not be so smashed you can't remember it. Yeah. Don't really get it. Yeah, no, it does it. Football yeah, culture's it gone a bit weird. It, yeah, it doesn't make. Yeah, I mean, does, it doesn't. I, I, and yeah, with the pitch invasion stuff, I don't even know what you would do. I don't even know what you could do. Because it, it is then a mix of it of like some people are so smashed off their head they probably don't even know what they're doing and they're like running onto the pitch. And then some other people follow them. And then some of it's kids running on and stuff like that. And it's like they're just following the crowd. And then once something happens, like crowd psychology comes into it, and all people start doing the same thing. And it's just a bit like I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what the answer is to be honest with you. Speaking Someone's gonna end up being the scapegoat, aren't they? Like, at some point, they're going to say, the next people to do it, everyone gets banned. And yeah. then Liverpool win the Champions League. It's obviously not going to be at the Champions League, but you're like, Liverpool win the Champions League and they all run on the pitch and everyone gets banned. And they're going to be like, well, everyone else did it last week. And then there's another big argument about it. Yeah, it's going to be it's an interesting one. You know what else? You know what else is interesting? You almost know a centre mid, don't you, Zay? I'm just saying it. That could be. An, I'm saying that it could be interesting. It could be interesting to see. It could be an interesting pick. Yeah. Could be Koke. Okay. No, Koke. Wait. Oh, no, no, wait, Co Koke? Okay. Oh, hold on, Koke or Okay? Okay, Koke. <laughs> wait, what position, left mid or... Wait, right, RCM or left mid? <laughs> I can't tell if you're saying, like, okay to proceeding with the midfielders or if you're saying Koke, the player. Should we move on? Let's move on, let's move on. Okay, Koke. Koke, okay. Wait, where? Yeah, okay. Ar <laughs> Wait, R RCM, Koke? No, Koke. Okay. 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 Should we move on to the defense? Let's move on to... Wait, defense? Hold on. I don't understand. Wait, I have to <laughs> guess... Hold on, look. Wait, look. I ha I'm holding up the uh, three players. Did you write Koke? No, I didn't. That's good. Okay. We'll do my left mid or right mid with your left back and right back. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Copy that. Copy that. All no, right, so. Koke, not okay. Yeah. I I'm you... going to stop. I'm going to stop. Should we just move on, Zay? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs>
I was just trying to change instead of C A S H C A S Z. Yeah, yeah. Or S Z C. Kaz Kazos Kazowski Kazandowski Kazdowski. Let's move on, Ski. And with that, we have uh, managed to upset an entire nation. Yeah. <laughs> Poland's actually really nice. Went to Poland. Good place. Yeah, you were saying. You, you were saying. I was saying, this isn't more... It, you guys think we've been talking a lot. Honest to God, I've got, so much has been left in the go to the transition and decide our plays means. We were talking about Poland because where he wants to go. It's cool. Went to Krakow. Very nice. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard good things. Uh, you know, Vize, uh, the official Vize that... Uh, he's moved to Poland, I He's moved to Poland. He built a house in Poland with his wife. That's crazy. What a, like, that, that's such a, is bold the right word? It's like such a, like, I mean, when I think about that, it's like moving to a different country and then building a house. Like, that's nuts. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. It's like when gammons, for want of a better word, like racist old men, essentially. Yeah. Racist old people say, oh, immigrants coming over here and all stuff like that. It's like, mate, this person decided they want to live in this country so much that they've like moved across the whole world to try and like build a new life and whatever. Imagine how mad that is. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, they, we're, we're talking about the upwards way around and you don't think a thing about it. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, Polish people coming over here, stealing our jobs. Like, Shut up. That's like, it's such a stupid thing. Whereas like, they've literally done the exact same thing, just the opposite way around yeah. to what Visa's done. But that's yeah. kind of crazy. Like, uprooted his whole life, moved to Poland, built house. Bold is the right word. I respect it. Did you say bottled? No, bold is what oh, you said. Oh, bold, bold, bottled. Okay. We're not talking. He not bottled talk it. He bottled it. He's gone. He's <laughs> flapped left, it. He's left no. it. Oh my gosh. No, no. Bold. bold. Yeah, bold, bold. Oh my bold God. as in like... What am I trying to say? I was going to say, is it like the font? <laughs> no, I'm not just, like I'm just doing font. a weird stare at my monitor. Is it I'm like adventurous? Really weird, right? As in like, takes initiative, that sort of thing. Yeah. People confuse bold and bold all of the time. Bold, like Faraz. Like, yeah, like FG. So people say FG is B-O-L-D. FG is not bold. He is... Bald. There's a difference. There is. People there is. don't seem to understand that. That one's got an O and one's got an A. There's a big difference. There's a big difference in what that means. He's bold to be bald. He's bold to try and play Squabble the and against me. And is also he is bald. bald like his team on his channel when he discards all of his plays. I like that. Uh, should we... Should we... He's got a... I was going to ask you about this actually, Zay. Yeah. FG is a man who likes to pretend... He's a tall man, and he okay. likes to perpetuate false stereotypes about other people's heights to make himself feel better. Yes. I I'm not particularly bothered. It's funny, isn't it? I don't actually care. But something I thought was actually quite intriguing was FIFA's height thing. Now, FG the reason that got me, the reason I've remembered this is because FG got this picture. So I got a funny picture of, I had a picture of FG stood next to Jeremy Lynch and a picture of me stood next to Jeremy Lynch. And I'm like four inches taller than Jeremy and FG's the same height and was like, ha So anyway, he got a picture of me and Kai Havertz mm -hmm. and then Kai Havertz's FIFA stats. It reckons Havertz is six foot two. He's not six foot two. Aren't you six foot two? Or maybe I'm six, six two. Three. Yeah, I'm six two. Yeah, he's not. He's and not he six two. he makes you look tiny. It's cr he's huge. Okay, hold on. Wait, but how tall are you? Six foot. So that was a f lie. Okay, you're six foot. He's he's like he's Mate, tall, right? He's like six foot five. It's he's, mad. He's for sure six five or six four. Oh my god, this is the. Oh. But I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. If you want to say I'm five or ten, I don't really care. Actually, that's funny. And it's like no, FG's listen, not actually listen, bald. Th this but this video... is mad. Like, how can they not measure the players properly? They've made him. Th yeah, FIFA says that he's like six one or six two. He's not minimum six three three quarters for sure. He's I think he's six four. I personally think he's six four. There's no chance, and no one believes me in my chat either. So this is gonna be good it's, yeah, video it's evidence crazy. proof that you have a picture of Kai Havertz with him with you. I have a picture of Kai Havertz with me, and it's because I've also got a picture of me with you, where you were obviously taller than me. But then Kai Havertz is taller than you again. Yes. We're living like, in the, ha the ha it's the Havertz verse. It's the Havertz verse. I don't know. I don't know. Because the they did it with Calvert Lewin as well. I I'm pretty sure we've talked about this on Squabble the Showdown before as well. I'm trying to find these pictures. I don't know why I'm scrolling through my phone instead of just going on Instagram. But I, I don't know. I just don't really get it. Like, how can they not get people's heights right? I mean, if you really think about it, you got to go through every one. Like, maybe it's Leverkusen that got his height wrong. Maybe it, like maybe they're just pulling from a database. It does make, yeah, it does make, uh, yeah, it is, <sighs> it is it. baffling. But maybe they're pulling from a database because there's thousands of players or something. I, I, but for I, the what? Yeah, I understand if like like League Two or something like that. If you're playing for like Wickham or yeah. 
sort of like, oh, yeah, fair enough. But it's Chelsea. Like, they've got all their face scans into the game. Can they just measure them at the same time? Fair. Yeah, no, that's that's a fair point. Yeah, like, there's me and Havertz. I don't know why I'm showing you on my phone instead of Harry just putting the picture on the, on the screen properly. But here we are. Yeah, he's well taller than you. I don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's nuts, right? That he's leading over and he still, like, looks to... I don't know. Anyway. He's, he's six four. I'm telling you, he's 6'4". He's There's, huge. He's definitely 100% positive. So it's a, and he looks Calvert Lewin used huh? to be five foot eight on Fifino. You know? Really? How yeah. mental's that? He's now six foot two as a crackers. That's, that's nuts. Yeah. Anyway, that was random. And I just when you said FG about being bald, it reminded me of that. I was thinking I was taking some thumbnail shots with my Kai Havertz card, like the signs on that I've got before, um, yesterday, and I was thinking about that. Very interesting. Well, he he Very is bald. I mean, it is important to just. And yeah, you saying about FG being bald reminds me. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've talked about a lot of stuff. So we need. Do you know what the problem is? We haven't had a capture event for years. That's it. Sorted out EA. I need to meet up with all the Americans. There's nothing quite like the absolute chaos of having like two days to get content and just, you know what I mean? Just that unbridled chaos of everyone capturing content. You're on the other end of the, you know, I'm looking over at you. You're looking, you're making sure that all our stuff is working. I still, yeah, I, I remember that fun. last, what was it? Was it, uh, was it Amsterdam? Amsterdam, yeah. yeah. I remember it. Yeah, we were like in. We literally were recording in a shipping container. Yeah, it was well funny, wasn't it? A shipping container. Oh my god, that was great. I love it. I hope they do it this year. I really do. Yeah, no, that was. Yeah, I missed that. That that's. It's always so much fun. And then we went for uh, what? We went for sushi that night or something. We're one of the nights we went yeah, for sushi. Yes, he remembers because yep. everyone just wants to go to. I've. St I make this so many stories coming back from Scrabble Showdowns the past. All the FIFA YouTubers. Oh, let's go McDonald's. Shove your McDonald's where the sun doesn't shine, mate. You don't have to go and get something nice to eat. And I managed to convince everyone. This is the maddest part. I managed to convince everyone to go for sushi, and I somehow managed to convince this Michelin starred sushi restaurant on a walk in to seat 20 people, and oh. they did it, and it was banging. Crazy. Remember, because she was like, you all have to have the same thing. And we were like, yeah, that sounds. And she basically got the chef to do us a taster menu just on a whim, because there were so many of us. It was. That was the unreal. best. That was, it was legit the best. Good times. Good times times yeah hopefully they're able to do that soon because you're going are you allowed to tell people well, i mean it's gonna be on the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, yeah you're going to sweden with the e champions league aren't you yeah so then stuff's happening like covid's not yeah, i mean it's still a thing but it's not like the whole world isn't shut down anymore capture of nta get us all together let's film in real life this way that'd be so sick anyway let's move on <laughs> guess is way back do you want me to tell you all one Yes. There's been a man who have been trying to try or wanting to try for a while and haven't had the opportunity to do so. And it is the new upgraded Heroes Cordoba. Okay. And then I'm going to build a Serie A squad around him. Okay. So I'll have play them with Cooler Barley because he still does the job in May. Yes. I'll have that Ibanez fella because he's got loads of pace. Uh huh. And I would go Luis Felipe, but I discarded them. So pop him in. And then in goal, from the Serie A, I'll have Chesney. Because we are talking about how to SZCFI Cash's name. Okay. So we both have a Polish link in our squad. I like that. We do. We do. Well, Big of Poland. I completely bottled it, you know, since that's a theme in the past 24 hours. I went, I thought maybe you were going to do La Liga, but maybe that's a little bit too predictable. You know, like, I, yeah, for sure. Now, now looking back at it, I mean, it wouldn't have made sense to do that, right? Because then I probably maybe would have hit on one because if you were forced to go with three La Liga center backs, maybe I hit on one of them. So yeah. I went PK, I went Alaba, Militao, just, you know, some of the meta ones. And then I went with Courtois and Net. But uh, you managed to dodge my attempts expertly. Expertly? Is that a new word? Expertly. Ex expertly. That's how we say it here in the States. Expertly. Yeah, yeah. Is that how you say it? Expertly. 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 Lee. I am going to go. My left center back is going to be none other than uh, Presnel Kimpembe. I'm not sure which version I can afford, but I'm going to go with Kimpem's. I feel Kimpembe. like he's a little bit too obvious to be like super meta, so I feel like maybe you wouldn't go with that. But then maybe again, uh, I'm going to go with uh, another Liverpool lad by the name of Ibrahimo Konate. Again, I'm not sure which version I can afford. Might just go for that 82 man of the match because of the dynamic pick. Uh, and then in net, I am also going to go with another French lad. I'm going to go with the main man. Mike, Mike Nan. Might even use his 84 card just because that's still so cracked. But uh, there you have it. Way back. The silence is not good. I don't like that silence. Did you hit both of my... You hit both of them, didn't you? We're talking about bottling, mate. We are talking about bottling. Sway back, HD. Guesses my formation. 
Three, four, three. Guess who's my striker? Yeah, close. You're way too excited right now. I don't like this. He's in there. He's done it. He's basically won. All he needs is three players. And he's got absolutely zero. <sighs> oh, my God. Kid Bembe, Conarte, Mignon. No way. Get them out of your team, pal. Oh, my gosh. There's just What's no chance. Day? Like, I guess it was a little bit too predictable. Like, okay, yeah, maybe it was a little bit too predictable, but maybe that's that was my theory. Maybe that was my thinking. That maybe because Kim Pepe is so meta, like, you wouldn't think in a million years that I would, like, literally use a French center back to get links in Delaney and Kakere, even though they didn't need it. <sighs> well, to be fair, Kakere actually did, now that I'm looking at my screen. He did need a... What a day. I should have gone with the Nair. Should have gone with the Nair. The people who listen to us chat for 45 minutes have been rewarded, so because they're about to see a bloodbath oh, led by... Of course... So yeah. Steven Gerrard is... <laughs> the terrible okay. triple. It's been a while. I think this is only the second time that's ever happened in Squabble Show in history. You've joined an elite club. Maybe SBSD data. This Give is only the second time that this is... Yeah, maybe, mate. Maybe is... you're going to become the second person to discard their entire teams up. Oh, my God. What a day. The question now becomes, where do I use my trump card? Do I give you an outfield player in goal? Or do I give you a bronze goalie in a goalie outfield? Listen... You do whatever you need to do. You need to do whatever you do to feel good about yourself. I'm going to give you in goal. Yep. Mastil. M-A-S-T-I-L. He is the lowest rated French goalkeeper on the game. Yeah, I just found him. He looks great. Cracking player. Three-star weak foot. Absolutely not Wunderbar. Yeah. Okay. Next, you can have Matombo. 63 rated French league earned centre back. You see that ratings way? Oh, yeah. He looks 63. great. 63. Yeah. 30. Swap it around and that's his pace, mate. That's great. It's really great. And then, oh, I've got one with a shadow on him. Lovely. <laughs> and then, at right centre back from the Premier League, Melier. The keeper? The keeper. Oh, man. Wow. What a wow. turn of events. What a time to be alive. Now, now what? Now we play a game. Uh huh. And the loser does discards based on the goal difference. Of course. Yeah, of course. Andros cheated. That's been my squad name for the entire year. When was the last time we did an SBSD? Advent? It was Advent. And remember, remember you pulled a cheek. You did something cheeky. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't intentional. What's that do? Did I, I cheated? You did something. Yeah, yeah. We also did. found out Zway has won Squabble the Show as well. Although it's very unlikely he's going to be winning this one after that performance on his centre back. See, last match, two 0 was on Zway. See, that's what that's what you think because I'm pretty sure didn't didn't I have like some pretty bad forfeits? Pretty sure I had some pretty bad forfeits in the last one, and I still not as bad to as play. these though. We should okay. also tell the people, unfortunately, Zway does not have Matombo with a shadow on him at centre-back because I tried to sell him my Matombo with a shadow on him for 200 yeah. coins, like a nice guy, and it got sniped by a bot. Yes. So Zway instead has Kumetio, Callens, and still Master Lingo. But I kind of think the rest of my team, I don't know. I, I, feel like my, I feel like the boys will be able to clutch up. I got Matty Cash on the wings. I'm basically going to have to rely on Delaney and, Mad, and Matty Cash to like literally just be my defense for me. That's not going to help. Kante. Ooh, Gareth. I do have three at the back. But I have Divock Origi. Oh, come on. Oh, Jared Bowen. Jared. Jared Bowen. Bowen had to score that, I reckon. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh. That was lethal from three chem Steven Gerrard. Who's that? Go Who's on, that? free camp, Steven no, no, Gerrard. No, 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 Get there. Oh, <laughs> Mastil. His Modric is fast, isn't he? Yeah. What's his, what, 90 pace? Yeah, he's got really good acceleration, but his... Uh, who was that? Eh, was that? Course. No, it was not Stevie G. Eh, course. Oh, my gosh. Stevie G, man. That is just the ultimate. With how oh. this... With how the squad building side of it started and how it ended. Three chem Gerard, mate. Oh what a man. Of yeah, course. Damn, look at my guy Kumeto. Look at my guy Steve. Oh, big save. Okay. This is turned 
from yeah. Champions League special scobble the showdown to an absolute clown fiesta is what this video has become. If you really think about it, I've got three bronze players that you can hit in terms of like the discard. So like it's kind of, well, no, because I guess, wait, I don't know. Pride on the lines way. Divock Origi's on the line. Imagine Harry having to edit a bit apart where potentially I have to discard Divock. Do you think he's going <sighs> to be able to manage that? so happy. Not would make me happier to be honest with you. Okay, come on, Maddie. Matty B raps. Matty B raps. <laughs> you think he's you think he's still around? Is Matty B raps still around? Wait, how does your brain get these things? I told you, I wasn't lying when I said there's only two ways to have your brain melted. <laughs> it's watch one of them Ronaldo Sui.exes or have a real life conversation with Zway. <laughs> no! What the hell? <laughs> Sound too busy like trying to stay. They collided into each other. Oh. You just be sitting like you go for breakfast. You're at a capture event. You're deciding whether you want croissants or a little bit of a bacon roll or something like that. You just got your coffee and sat down at the table and Zoe goes, Do you reckon Mary B Raps is still rapping? <laughs> <laughs> just like, I don't know. There's, there, you know, there's going to be some people that have no idea what we're talking about. I don't know how long, how long ago was that? That was, oh. oh. Are you joking? That might Are have been. Are you actually that... joking? All right. 2-0 at halftime. Definitely could be more. Definitely are still just laughing our heads off talking rubbish. Can you put hey, Maddie B raps instead of my face? At like, uh, yeah, Champions League final squad builder showdown versus Maddie B raps. Tell you what, this fatty is f fast. Yeah, my Ansu fasty. Oh, it's got to go in the video now. That is a terrible pun. That's a finishing off actually though. I need I need to get goals. This is not uh 89 rates the way. Bloody hell. Oh Lord Bowen. save! Bowen! Oh he's on side, you're joking man. I got Jared Bowen. I'll tell you what, man. It's a, it's a good little card there. The bow? No way is that squeeze through. Oh my god. Come on! God, it's happened to the both of us. Do you know what? Yes. What? Good goals way back. You are actually Thanks. annoyingly good at FIFA for a man with no defense. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Zoe, you're too good at FIFA. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. 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 <laughs> I, oh my god, I've Come gone on. full bottle. Come on. You know what? Okay, so let's recap. You need, there needs to be a waffle in the thumbnail, a red arrow. Of pointing at a waffle, there needs to be a bottle, maybe with, I don't know, Stephen Jared holding a bottle because he's in the episode, so that's not clickbait. Course. So he stops scoring trap goals. Stop scoring trap no! goals. Sway. Oh my God, Neymar! he's fodder. That's why you're 40k. <laughs> Neymar, what are you doing? This is tragic. How can I not break down a man with no defenders? I'm telling you, there's something. I can't break down a man with no defenders. Okay. We've well, read was... it this time. Run, Lila Wilson. Run. 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 Okay. He's fodder, mate. He's absolute fodder. Tackle him. He's bloody done it. He hasn't done it! I, I, what an auto block. That oh Firmino, my I, God. I'll never use that Firmino ever again. I'll never use that Firmino ever again. Wow. wow. Did I actually just see that? He is a stinker. <sighs> and he Firmino. costs... He's like 560k? Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Firmino. 92 Firmino. What does he have for pace? What's his dribbling? That's the, that's the thing I really want to... 94 dribbling did not feel it for me. Interesting. Maybe I... Did I even have... A, I don't even know if I had a chem style on him, but... Did you have one that was accidentally a CDM or something like that? Oh, my God. Let me... Hold on. Let me see. Please, no. This would be too embarrassing. I have him as a cam. He's got free chemistry. He's on two cam... <laughs> <laughs> he was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my no. god i was like why is this firmino like literally it was so weird how slow he was <laughs> oh my is that a is that a squad builder showdown first no i've done it so many times it's not he's even funny oh i have gerald's a cdm but i did that deliberately because you gave me him 
I couldn't be putting myself like 10 chem gyros up front. That'd be silly. Minus 80. Yeah, he has eight. So based on these stats, 83 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, uh, 84 agility, which explains a lot. But I, I can't believe it. It's not terrible. It's just not 600k 92 rated. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it's definitely not. Um, oh, dear. Okay. Well, uh, you have how many guesses? It's two, right? It's two. That's not the worst. Could be a lot worse considering. <sighs> okay, I, I think I'm gonna. Okay. The 120 okay, okay, okay. ping is hard. Yeah. And you are just good at FIFA as well, to be fair. Fair play. And I have 3 4 3 and Steven Gerald up front. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready, um, Zoe? Uh, not, I. And are you recording your gameplay just to make sure? I'm recording everything. I'm recording okay, everything. Good lads. I'm, re good lads. I'm ready. I'm. Um. I'm. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Left mid. Okay, left mid is uh Kumetio. You're joking me. Right mid. Jared Bowen. Come Bowen. on, Bowen. Let's go. Okay. Whew. Okay, I I left Divock. Wait, hold on. That's it, right? That's it. That's it, mate. I left Divock and Firmino exactly where they were. Shut up. Yeah, I left them exactly where they were. I put Neymar left center back. I put Matty Cash uh, right center back. Conte was right back. Uh, what do I need to do with Ballon? Just list him for min or? Put him in an SPC. List him for min. Might get you banned. Bowen and Kumetio. Okay, Bowen and Kumetio. You don't have to discard Kumetio. Just Bowen. Bowen. <laughs>